All right, welcome to the second lecture on basic pharmacological uh, responses or basic pharmacological principles. So today we're going to discuss about law of mass action. Very first lecture, law of mass action. So, uh, so in this law of mass action, A. J. Clark in 1926, A. J. Clark in 1926 is the first one to. Uh, propose the model to account for the quantitative behavior of receptor mediated process you know process so most of the proteins like you know proteins are targets for, are targets for drug binding in the body and some of the targets may be enzymes transporters or ion channels and receptors okay so uh, what do the you know the drugs do in, in the body when the drug is in the body imagine let's assume that there's a instantaneous equilibrium in the body once the drug is in the body it's an instantaneous equilibrium so the drug uh, binds with the receptor okay so drug initially it's binds with drug D binds with the receptor R okay to form a drug receptor complex so this drug receptor complex elucidates the effect okay so this drug drug uh, binding with receptor is favored by the you know drug re association rate constant k on and the drug receptor complex dissociation is favored by the dissociation rate constant that is k off okay so the d plus r gives rise to dr let me write this equation in a mathematical form dr d drd or ddr either one the same drd or dt is equal to k on times d okay times r minus k off times dr or rd whatever it is so okay so I can if at equilibrium conditions if if D plus R that is a drug receptor drug binding with the receptor if it, it reaches a certain equilibrium at, at one point so at that time point the DRD or DT okay DRD or DT is equal to zero then I can rewrite this this whole equation this whole equation has you know K on times D times R is equal to K of times DR right so the same so that means K on D times R times K of is called DR but we ha but we know that receptors this is a free receptor so drug plus free receptor right the free receptors plus the DR that means the receptors which are bound to the drug you know gives rise to the total number of receptors okay but the total number of receptors means like the, what is meant with TR so we know that D times R I mean is the effect guys right effect DR is nothing but the effect as I mentioned here what is TR here TR that means if my drug total receptors TR is not the one total if my drug if all my drug molecules are bound to all the receptors in the body then it will yield maximum effect right and I'm going to call this as Emax TR is Emax okay so we will have it, it is possible to get I mean we can get Emax and we know the effect but it is really it's not possible to get the total number of count the number total number of receptors in the body so what we're going to do is we're going to replace r with dr and tr here so this is what i'm going to do so r is equal to tr minus dr okay right okay let me so here again, I'm going to rewrite the equation. So, K on times T times R. What is R here? TR 
minus dr right is equal to k of times d times r so we so i'm gonna i'm gonna multiply these two so k on is equal to d times tr minus d times dr is equal to k of times dr okay so i'm going to rewrite this equation because we know that k of or k on is equal to k d this is equilibrium dissociation constant guys this is this this is dissociation constant and this is association constant and but this is equilibrium dissociation constant don't get confused with k of and k on both are dissociation constant but this is equilibrium dissociation constant that is the dissociation constant at equilibrium as i mentioned here dr d by dt is equal to zero okay so i'm going to rewrite this so d times dr minus this minus dr times d is equal to k of or k on i'm going to write it as kd okay dr right so next i'm going to bring all my um, rd means so dr terms dr terms to one side d times dr is equal to kd plus d times dr okay so drd drd and this is kd dr okay you're good so now we know that we know the dr is the effect right so we want to know the effect basically so i'm going to change this equation a little bit so d times tr okay d times tr let me raise this d times tr divided by kd plus d is equal to dr okay now what let me slightly re rephrase this it means tr that is as i mentioned e max right tr is e max so can i uh, I'm gonna rewrite this usually the drug is measured in the form of concent concentrations in the body right so i'm going to take c right c and tr as i mentioned e max e max times c over kd or ec50 it's one and the same kd plus c because i really have read it in dsc is equal to dr that is nothing but the effect so this is the equation i have right now okay 